limited. So. Well, you're now. stream so I don't lose my mind hearing myself at a five second delay. It's more than five seconds. Yes. OBS is weird like that. Yeah. I think it's I think the actual delay is closer to ten seconds. Yeah. It is. But yeah, uh, I'm uh, so um welcome everyone who left uh you stayed behind after uh I mean once again, slaughtered a lot of monsters. I present you the uh, one and mighty Zazzy, and he is going to uh, continue to career the... Uh, what is it? Uh, New Mexico? The... the Wastes. Uh, Nevada. Yeah, the Wastes. Okay, yeah. It's... It's not so easy to keep up with <laughs> Bethesda. Fallout, yeah. in my opinion. Alright, All right, I am booting up. Oh. Alright, it is booting. It seems to be doing alright. Did the keybind work? OBS, are you all right? <laughs> yes, uh, partially. Left our intrepid hero section now, but uh, the last time I was in the air, so oh, I'm a little nice friend to everyone for it. I had to uh, derelict my duty to the stream a bit because I had to do other stuff, so now I'm back here and to uh, annoy Zazzy with stupid questions about the games he's playing. Yes, and also uh, Fallout New Vegas decided to be Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Glitch yeah. out super hard. You loaded it up with a lot of mods, uh, as I told you. Um, it's only 63 mods. That's actually really low for modding Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> Look, yeah, I... the first 43 mods are just to make the game run, and then the other ones are fun stuff like uh, animation overhauls. Yeah, uh, no, that was. <laughs> That was because I, I tapped out of the game, and uh, the Gamebryo engine hates that. Yes, they hate this. Yes. I don't yet. I mean, I understand that they want to 
port onto their own pri uh, propriety engine? Yes, it well, they, they're only holding on to it because Xenomax wouldn't let them change it. Well, they're not uh, now out of Xenomax hands, so... Let's yes. see what we got. Uh-huh. And Sizing they didn't the field. I think. Mean, this year? This is next year. Starfield is coming out like... End no, this it's year? not Starfield. It's not Starfield this year. It's the... Uh, Average School 6, isn't it? Yes. Starfield. Okay. Yeah. The title yes. music is tied to the master volume and not the music. We're talking about the volume. <laughs> <laughs> there are some very, very strange things happening here. Yeah. There, there are insane things. Oh, all oh, the tweaks menu. <laughs> uh, Stewie AI and his many, many tweaks to make the game run better. Although I think it's a problem that was uh, introduced by Obsidian because they didn't have any clue how to work with the engine originally. Yeah. And so, then, well, all the but then again, things, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, then they also made, uh, what's it called? Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds was fun. Outer Worlds was fun. It it made me think a little bit of Fallout New Vegas and other Obsidian games. Yes. But not, like, super hard, if that makes me think. If that makes sense. Yeah, that is not so. And it yeah. makes a lot of fun. Yes, it... It gives me... I can see elements of the DNA in it, but... Yes. Sure. I... it feels... Uh, I don't want to use this word, but cowardly? Cowardly? Does that make sense? Not or sure nervous? Like, there's a lot of things that they follow through on story-wise and, like, quest-wise in Fallout New Vegas and older games. But they don't uh, do that in Outer Worlds. Oh, so you mean more, uh, in, a, in a sense, of they took the safe route? Yes, it feels, it feels very safe. It uh, feels kind of corporate-y. Uh... Because, like, it's the it's a game about, like, how the corporations ruined everything and stuff, and it's like, all right, can I Disco Elysium-style turn myself into a crazy, crazy communist-type character? Yeah, they didn't follow that. That's true. But could just go around and murder everything. Yeah. And I literally have. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can't even that's do that in New Vegas. Reason, but, but let's not talk about that. Yeah, you, you could just kill every single person. Yep. All of them was essential. And I find that this is a project refreshing. Yeah. yeah. The or game like, scrolls to like end the game when you do that, but it works. Um, yeah. With the right stats, you can still uh, finish the game. Nope. It's just a one stat. Yeah. And you have a colony ship full of new colonists, so. You don't care if everyone's dead, so. Yeah. Um. 
I do. I do like that they uh, they let you, if you're a really dumb character, fly the colony ship into the sun. Yes. It's a nice touch. And now I do not know what I want to say. Something about Fallout 3. I War. don't remember. War never Fallout changed. Fallout 3 both did not follow when atomic fire consumed the earth those who survived the did so in great that underground well, and vaults. also followed it super well also the cat wants out of my room i i guess i'm not getting the the co co host hang on <laughs> yeah my problem with fallout 3 was it felt too much like oblivion in the pope uh, post apocalyptica it was just It was just too oblivion, in my opinion, so I didn't feel it. Ah, that was special delivery. Um, I am back. I let the cat out. That's the cat's out. You're I let the cat away. out into the rest of the house. She wanted out of my room. Whoa, easy there. Easy. She said she didn't want to hang out, out and stream with us. Days now. Why don't you just relax uh, a second? Yes. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. So, I'm your name. you are starting a new Can you tell me your name? Yes, a brand new save. And that is because the last stream I did, I was noticing some weird visual glitches. And I thought, hmm, this is strange. I've never seen this before. And I was booting up an older install of Fallout. Like, I had multiple Windows updates before that. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if something bad happened. So I started s searching around and the yellow dots that were appearing on my screen instead of blood splatters. I was looking at that and I was like, mm, I feel like that's a sign. And I dug around a bit and it turns out that when textures do that, that means there are corrupted game files. Oh! Yes, so over the course of this past week, I did a full, fresh install of New Vegas, deleted all my old mods, except for one, which I saved, and then I think I put back into here. <laughs> I hope I did. We'll find out in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen you've got some, a lot of stuff already. That's yes, that is also get. because... So this is Fallout Ultimate Edition that everyone uses for modding because it has all the DLCs and stuff in it. Yes. And part of that is that you get all the old pre-order stuff for the game. Oh, okay. Yes, so you just start with all the pre-order kits in your inventory. All right, all right. I didn't notice that. Yes. And I'm pretty sure I have the Ultimate Edition 2. Yep, all right. What and should again, we... I only took a glance at the game once and... Let's see, it, what should we it name... Has, it has the same problems there. Like uh, Fallout 3, it's just doesn't feel exactly correct. All right, <laughs> should we? Fallout 3, <laughs> definitely. Yes. Uh, do you have any good character names before I just start naming everything after rocks again? Uh, not really, no. All right, Schist Gabro <laughs> is the name of this character then. All right. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I have you don't mind, up, but yeah, I had to go rooting around myself. there in your noggin yeah. to pull all the bits of lead out. I, I default I on my needlework. rock you names because a lot of them are pretty easy to place. remember. Rex hard body. That was a good one. <laughs> How'd I do? Yeah, so the one just a bit too late has have has. Yeah. I probably should have waited a little longer. A bit too late. About 10 seconds. 
see. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a, uh, a console command to rename the character. Yes, well, when I leave Good Springs, I can also rename them. Ah, right. Oh, yeah, Bethesda face. Ah. <laughs> Play Doh Man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Oh my god. Oh, that's a weird. <laughs> it's a good thing we, you barely see your own face. Yeah. Let's age him up. Let's see. Let's see what that does to this guy. That's, are you sure it's the ancestor, and not the uh, distant uh, descendant? It'd probably be distant the descendant. Distant cause of apocalyptica. Yeah. Uh, I hope he, he just turns into a different dude when you age him up. <laughs> right? Yeah. His eyes get a little bit closer together. Ah, uh, Bethesda sliders. Yeah, the skull deforms quite a bit. Yeah, right. Ah, yeah. Let's go here. I don't want to. I don't want to do too too much so that we can just get into it. Hairstyle. All right, this is where we have some fun. I have to say, at least what you can say about uh, New Vegas is, it fits more with the original Four Knots because it's in the same era, area, yeah, and not on the other side, of, on the other side of the continent where suddenly everything else that happened on this side of the continent also happened over there. It, it, I didn't like the. The massive. It's not even really a retcon that Bethesda did with 403 and the, and the distractions, but. Uh. I think I'm I I the blast back. Who said it. Uh. uh one. One guy said it the best. The Tesla games are uh, the perfect sandboxes. Yes. They are perfect to build upon. The Tesla games themselves, the stories are bland. Yeah. Or they're, sometimes... they're bland or make you question the sanity of the writer. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean, Fallout 4, for instance. I, wow. <sighs> Wow. Oh. oh, that story. That was rough. This <laughs> was like, oh man, what do the, I... That, for <laughs> three, that, that, was, that was a masterpiece of stupidity. Yeah. Fallout 3 was better-ish. I... Um... It, it was better in the story. No, I, I mean the, the ending especially. Uh, uh, specifically. Yeah. Because uh, you had either Hawk or uh, the Paladinus. As a companion, you, I, I think you can't miss the paladin, and it's pretty easy to get Hawk as a companion. Uh, you one... can you can actually skip paladin dance. You can uh, okay. No, yeah. No, never, uh, never guess it, but you probably have one of of them or both as your companions. One is clad in a power armor, and the other one is a radiation immune. A super mutant. Yeah. Wait, Fallout 3 or Fallout 4? In, in Fallout 3. Yeah. And. But you, as the player, have to go in the irradiated uh, decontamination chamber to start the water project. Why? Oh, yes. Um, well, that's because you don't have... And the thing is, uh, the, the, uh, the dialogue you get from Hawk, the super mutant, I do not want to uh, rob you of your uh, glorious achievement or something, something yes. in that manner. So, 
the the there is an actual answer for that, and that is that is not the true quote unquote ending. The the true ending is uh what is it broken the broken steel DLC. Yeah, they have. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that that was the best about it. They had to rewrite the ending to fit the DLC in. Yeah, I <laughs> I genuinely think that they had initially planned to release it with the broken D steel stuff. Possibly, uh, yes. And it just got chopped off for uh, DLC stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, it was the first game of the, the horse armor, so very yep. probably. Hmm. Anyways, how do we fuck up this dude's hair color? Oh. I... I don't know. I don't... To be honest, I don't really care. Want to make it bright fucking purple? It's your choice. We could ask the other four, uh, sorry, three people in chat what they would like to yes. see. Yes, what, what color should we make this man's hair? Light blue. He looks like Shaggy now. Yeah, he looks a bit like Shaggy, yes. That would be Shaggy. Sort of orangey here. Yeah, that's a, a light orange brown. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Although it ought to be a bit longer for Shaggy, I'm not entirely sure. I... That's about right for Shaggy. I think it'd be a little bit more fluffy for Shaggy, because this is a, yeah, a bit more like pompadoury. Uh, pompadoury? Uh, don't. Oh no, that's a uh, Fred. Fred actually just has a pompadour. Yeah. Mm, that's Fred. I mean, he is more. Uh, Stylized. Uh, he has more style in his hair, yes. Yeah. Whereas I think. Oh, the well, gunslinger. His hair is a bit more wild, let's say. Uh, yeah, Shaggy like... strikes me as the type of dude that just takes. That literally just like scruffles his hair with his hands in the morning, and that's how he does it. I don't know, I just. Looking at, at his original cartoon design, yeah, he has a bit of a pump. Uh, on his forehead. Oh. What do you know? Humphrey? No. He's on stage. I 
think chin scruff is pretty much the closest we can get to his uh little beard setup. Probably yes. It's a nice brown. I guess we'll rename him Shaggy anyway. Rogers when we're done. <laughs> okay. No sense you in bed anymore. Just pump up Let's survival and all our healing life. is through uh, eating stuff. Oh. Good. Why don't you walk I mean, down to the end of the it room? It's the game. It, Over by it, that bigger tester yeah. machine there. Take it slow now. Literally just stop and eat seven steaks to regain all my health. Ooh, you're looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. Yep. So I do actually have a mod in here that lets me just skip all of the intro stuff of going over and taking a psychiatric evaluation. Yeah. All right. I, yeah, I love this stuff. That's the thing I liked about uh, all of three. The go tests at the beginning it was fun. Yeah, that was fun. All right. Are we are we just gonna commit to the bit and just make Shaggy Rogers? <laughs> yeah, but what's uh, Shaggy's strength? Well, it's not charisma. It's not intelligence. Yeah. That's... It's not even luck, and not agility. We're good. <laughs> He's also not very per perceptive, so... Uh... No, no, no. Agil it would be like agility and endurance. Right? Because he runs yeah, away from everything, endurance. and then he's constantly... Yeah, because he's constantly running away from stuff. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, affects uh, how long uh, you can sprint will be and the first world yeah, because he can't do anything else. Let's do. What I can wouldn't do is luck because Shaggy had the worst luck in the series from of all the characters. Mm. Does he? Yeah, kind of. A lot of his misfortune is just from Scooby messing around. That too, yes, but he and also had some. He also has a lot of like, I guess, just lucky breaks in general from mm -hmm. just him being able to like dodge stuff and uh, be at the right place at the right time. So it's probably his little charisma because he couldn't uh, train his dog properly. Yeah. I think... Eight, nine, seven. Yeah, I guess he also had a bit of perception because he did spot quite a few things. Yeah. Mostly think... stuff that uh, frightened him, but really did spot things. Yeah, I'll just uh, distribute the rest of the points evenly. Yeah, yeah. It's your character. Yeah. Below average intelligence. Uh. I might Better take. Because this affects how many skill points we get when we level up. And so it's nice yes. to... It's... What is it? With intelligence, you always want it on an odd number. Because of the way it scales. Uh, I th I think so, yes. Because yeah, it's, uh, it's... Two points? Uh, no, it's one point per two points, and it's rounded up or something like that? Yes. It's one point per two points, and it's rounded up. So it's like 10 plus intelligence divided by 2, rounding up. 
I think that's the actual formula. Let's put intelligence at five. Endurance at eight. Endurance at eight. We're we're doing a survival build with endurance at eight. Agility of nine. Which gun do you mean? Oh, because uh, of the APs, yes. Oh yes. Which me? Which is I think because agility it works uh, close, uh, similar to intelligence at, at that point. Yes. All right, select our things. You 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 always. Let's ask Mr. Yeah. Internet. Yes. All right. Let's. You always grab barter as one of your tagged skills because plus fifteen in barter will save you a lot of money. <laughs> so, let's see. Martyr, let's grab a lockpick. Already decent on guns. Survival's alright. Speech. Oh, okay. Agility also uh, influences the old reload speed. Ooh. Oh, okay. The action points for vets is uh, determined by 65 babies plus agility times 3. Ooh. Okay. I don't remember that many pips or APs. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tag speech because I remember Shaggy talking his way out of a lot of situations. Surprisingly, yes. Despite the fact that he wasn't very charismatic. Yeah. And he could also talk very fast. Yep. Small frame? No, he's a, a large, lanky guy. Yeah, small frame. Due to your small size, uh... Yeah, I think small frame is supposed to be, because he, look at him, he's all stretched out. Right? Yeah, but that's not a small frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now from the picture, yeah, it kind of looks like. Yeah. I want to grab skilled. Plus five in every... Uh, skilled is really nice, actually. Because it's five points in every skill, and then, but reduce ten experience from things. But you'd be surprised at how quickly you can still level up. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ten percent experience. It's it's like uh, with the perks that give you more experience. Don't bother with them. Yeah. And I'm grab uh, hello, just, yeah. Uh, Julius. Hello. No wild waste hand. Ah, but you see, Julius. No, I would not like to be in hardcore mode. I can buy the <laughs> ticket and take the ride. <laughs> uh, yes. Yep. <laughs> Most patients don't get out of bed after being shot and then move like they was in perfect control. You're unusual, I'll say that. <laughs> All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Yep, that's, uh... Honestly, that should be in base game. That that should have been in yes, base game. Yes. Just make Wild Wasteland opt-in. Oh, you want to see weird Easter eggs? Here. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a plat. Well, if you're heading back out there, you are. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before take the, the war. Take the ticket to Alien we Town. That's exactly one. what I'm doing, Ain't man. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing. 
And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. I uh, don't miss. You should talk to Sonny. I reckon some. Anyway, you ever. But try not to. Try not to get killed anymore. Oh, the flashlight mod. This was weird to set up because I had to, like, change some files. But, uh, I like this flashlight mod. It's very bright. Oh, yes. It certainly is my idea. And it helps with the types of games being involved. This has the side games because they are very dark. Yes. Uh... Can't. Yeah. Taking all of his sunsets, Asperilla. Such a shame. There's nothing he can do to stop me. They're not marked as. <laughs> they are not marked as owned again uh, anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're not marked as owned. It's, it's mine now. Coffee mug, pack of cigarettes. What else? What else can we steal from this man? I guess we could grab a waystone. Pre-war books. Let's grab. Let's grab this hat. I saw it. It's mine now. Twenty-one. Yeah. Let's grab. Ooh. man. <laughs> Taking your gourd seeds and your ammo. Alright. And then I think... I think I'm going to sell most of the uh, stuff from this, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's utterly jarring to not see a metric fuck ton of guns in Doc Mitchell's. Oh, cool. Well, Faka is that it just told us he only has 63 mods in stock? Only. That explains everything, doesn't it? Yes. Although I do have some uh, larger mods already in here. Such as, oh, what's it called? Oh, this may, <laughs> the this plant is marked as stealable. I need to I need to run so I can do the Easter egg. Well, it's not really an Easter egg, but it's like a thing you can do. Where you just run up. Howdy, partner! Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? So I did not find this out until like two days ago while looking up some stuff for Fallout. Um okay. so there's the the little like quest you can do for Good Springs where they have beef with the powder gangers. And it turns out you can get Victor to aid you in that conflict, but you have to talk to him as soon as you leave Doc Mitchell's house. Ah, okay. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. To be honest, so I hauled you off to the dock right I mean, quick. It is. Yeah. It's basically the only quest I ever played in the game. Hmm. And then I can't say that I'm familiar with the rest. Bit annoyed with the some of the fine folks in yeah, town not being able to help you out with that. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to lower down the voice volume. It's like slightly. Uh, I moseyed into town. Oh, overdoing 10, you. Fifteen years ago. Like tweak and tweak it Before that, bit. I. Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Uh, I anyway, like this framing. It's a right. I caught him like at a great angle. It's as fine a place to settle as any. You know. Yeah, he is a bit loud. Yeah. Oh, the Frontier? No, I do not have the Frontier installed. I'm a Securitron. I have a different Rob mod called Special mod Delivery. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Which is also a pretty big uh, quest mod. Happy trails! But isn't weird. Uh, no. What right. was the name of the one mod? I remember. It, it also was a mod in Fallout 3 where you could uh, modify your weapons. That, that way, what's the name of it? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It had it had a special acronym. I can't remember because I haven't played that damn game for more than 15 years. Oh, it's easy, Pete. Howdy. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. See. Oh yeah, it's uh, WMX. The machine. WMX. Oh, no matter what truth oh. he says, she Weapon thinks mods it's expanded. But yeah, I think it's just you, a broken yeah. down relic with All no place to be. Stupid stuff with with this mod in Fallout 3, and from what I've heard in uh, New Vegas, it was even nah. crazier. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once. We um, I think the, uh, this mod was more or less the basis they uh, built uh, weapon modification and uh, Fallout 4 around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just yeah. For one of the, the, uh... It basically was just that. Yes, the, the, the weapon mods expanded mod for uh, Fallout 3 is actually officially the inspiration for the weapon mod system in Fallout 4. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember who said it in an interview, but one of the devs for Fallout 4 said it in an interview. I remember uh, that. Okay. I remember hearing about that when they were like doing all the trailers and stuff for Fallout 4, and they showed it off, and they're like, yeah, do you remember those old weapon mods from Fallout 3? Well, now we've put it in the game proper. And everyone was super excited to make weird, fucked up guns. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the weapon modification and the uh, power armor modification is the only thing that would interest me in Fallout 4, but. Yeah, it's honestly. Not for me to buy the game. I bought the game. Cheyenne, stay. Not uh, when it first came worry, out. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yes. Hello. Uh, Hello, we are not the BPR people, actually. We are just some lowly orphans. Right? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Oh, <clears throat> sounds you like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Uh, Meet me outside you behind the saloon. On that, it is not as in depth as oh. you would expect. It is mostly. It's like plus one sword type stuff, you know? Ah, uh, okay. It, it never, like, there are very few mods that fundamentally, like, changed how the gun works. I see. That's um, sad. Ironically, so. the, the pipe weapons, the really shitty wooden looking ones, had the most expansive modding tree. <laughs> <laughs> because... There was only one, uh, there were two pipe weapons in the game, the pipe revolver, and then the pipe gun. 
Yes. And the pipe gun could be modded into a pistol, a machine gun, a sniper rifle, anything. And that was probably the most... It, it was probably the coolest part of the modding system. The shitty pipe weapons. <laughs> <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla uh, bottles on the fence there? Um, Take this and try to hit a couple uh, of them. So they they had cranked laser carbine. Oh yeah, that thing was cool too. Try crouching down. Nice shot. Such a well, that's idea. a start. But I don't it's, reckon it's you came so to me to learn done, to fight sarsaparilla so bottles. Fun. Tell you what. You know? I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to uh, it. Why don't you come along? Good at hunting rifle. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. <laughs> oh, he sneezed. You liking these these uh the weapon animations? These aren't vanilla. Yeah, uh, I imagine. Uh, textures the too. Itself also didn't look like the vanilla weapon. Yep. Texture overhaul and uh. Oh. Hang on. And well, mod I configuration. The right now, I, I watched a few videos about uh, the latest Call of Duty game, Vanguard. Yeah. O M G. How weapon. can you fuck up historical weapons in in these in, in that amount? I don't understand that. I don't know if you heard, if yeah. you heard about Vanguard. It's a very very shitty World War Two game. All right, there we go. All right, so. I am not going to be using the the normal hotkeys, weapon hotkeys for normal uh, things. I'm gonna have one set to like healing powder or stim packs, but everything else, nope, that's just cosmetics now. <laughs> Let's see. Sort of caravan shotgun, put on three. I think four goes to that, and then five on the weathered pistol. I guess we could throw that on one for right now. Hey, look! All those weapons are on my character now. And they're in little holsters. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's called Arm to the Teeth. It's the name of the mod. Every character in the game has this now. So they just carry the weapons on their back. So, like, you can stop and look at raiders in the distance and see what weapons they have. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's... that's actually nice. pretty nice. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, did you, man? Oh, one reason I prefer gaming on PC is the ability to Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? A bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything a, else. Um, Let's see if we can get a little closer. Yeah. If we move quietly, we can get play. the jump on them. More likely... It's indescribable. Yeah. Mods can completely change how a game functions. Right, and then this okay. is also You're one on. of my favorite mods. You should have known better. See? You're getting the hang of it. There's oh, two yeah. more wells that still need yeah. clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with... And Come with me. Yes. yes. So, <laughs> so there's still the 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 vanilla vats system in here. It's a different keybind now. But if I hit mm. X, it instead of that, whoop, it enters like a bullet time mode. Whoop. So getting used to these hotkeys. 
Some of them changed during the wipe. But that's alright. So I'm grabbing all the gecko hides. I'm not sure, but I think uh, I could uh, keep the dog alive myself either. Yeah, I I usually keep the dog about alive during that. I did. I am going to be completely honest. I didn't even know Cheyenne could die during that. <laughs> Confound it, Cheyenne! Why'd you have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. I'm not going to be very good company right now. I did have another thing to I'm teach. Sure what, if it was, but I'll understand if you'd same. rather I just pay you so you could be on. Thought I might teach you about living off the land uh, and making yeah. useful things. I think uh, it died. All right then. Test we'll need a couple game. ingredients to get started. Gonna want. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Zan. Bring those on back to me. All right. I didn't even know that Cheyenne could die there, and also there was special dialogue for it. That's Which... true. Yes. That amazes me. Yes. Uh, that and the last thing doesn't amaze me that much because... Holy moly. If you didn't is come here like you've done, it, uh, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, detail. but here, yeah. you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Yep. Oh yeah, and then you can you can talk to her afterwards. And then you get you get fame with good springs and some purified water. Which, oh, I forgot to install that mod that lets me refill bottles at water sources that aren't irradiated. Yeah. It's such a nice mod to have on hand. I can imagine, yes. Oh, is this Victor's shack? Yes, it is. All right, we'll raid this place and then take a poke around Victor's shack. Nope. Take, take the the <laughs> the pre-order DLC shotgun. Ah, yeah, pre-order bonuses. It's so. Yeah, I'm gonna be selling a lot of this. Uh, namely, the fucking grenade launcher. I'm gonna sell. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to the Ooh, jalapeno. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to the general store on my way up to there and sell a lot of this pre-order stuff. like it too too much like there's a little bit of it that I'm okay with of just like yeah these are all pretty basic guns except for the fucking grenade launcher yeah, I don't know what they thought about well uh James Sawyer the the lead designer on it said that Bethesda pressured them into doing it that okay. he didn't actually want to do that uh to add it they pressured him into. They pressured the guys into doing that, and so eventually, 
Jay Sawyer made a mod called Jay Sawyer's uh, New Vegas Ultimate Edition, which it changes a lot of things. I'm not running it right now because I forget why. I think it was like it changed some things of how the game behaves. Assessment mm. weekly. That's pretty we're running. Hmm? Ooh, Radaway and a Stealth Boy. This is a good safe. Uh, this safe is random. Uh, with the loot. The only thing that's guaranteed in there is the Super Stim Pack. Uh. Zazzy, did you get the mods working? Oh, you mean the mods from the Steam Guide you sent me? Yeah, I installed like four of them. I don't, Wacker, I don't think you, you didn't look at that Steam guy, did you? I took a, I took a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. <laughs> All right, that's that's it. Hi remembering me to hydrate. Uh, so. Why was it not good? Yeah, most. So there was like the first two sections, which were these are the standard mods that everyone should install just to make the game run. And then the rest of it was, I'm gonna be honest, there was a lot of porn mods in there. Ah, I see. Yeah. The uh, infamous. Um, yeah. Like uh, some of them, them, I understand because it's the uh, the body replacer, the type three body was it type four and type three body replacers. They they run on the same system, but functionally, they're nude mods. But also, they're a huge library for meshes and stuff, and that a lot of armor mods take from it. Especially, uh, I've modded Fallout 4 before. Fallout 4 is nuts when it comes to the body replacers. There are very, very few uh, armor mods that don't use the body replacers. Fallout New Vegas, yeah, on the other hand... Let's be honest. The original yeah. models were not very good. Yeah. Uh, follow New Vegas, however, for whatever reason, is much more okay. Like, the modders for Fallout New Vegas are just like, nah, fuck it. Using vanilla bodies and stuff. Sunset Sarsaparillas. They're not marked as stealing, so I'm going to take them. <laughs> like these ones, which are marked as stealing. That's weird. Good Springs General Store. All right, would you like you a grenade launcher? Patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think... I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapons. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got... Can do. Machete, laser pistol, the grenade launcher. And the throwing spears. You can have the throwing, throwing spears. Oh, NPC, uh, there are a lot a lot of body swap mods for uh, Fallout 3 and basically in New Vegas is barely more 
then uh, let's say the map is not really different to uh, Fallout 3 when it comes to its uh, graphic assets. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why it is. Keeping the Vault 21 because jumpsuit. It doesn't like the grenade launcher. Hmm? Oh, Why uh, are you selling the grenade launcher? Yeah. Um, because it makes me feel too powerful for the beginning. Yes. I mean... Actually, you know what? I will keep the grenade launcher. But I will sell its you, ammo. Just for you. Just for you. It's a grenade launcher. I usually sell it. It makes me feel too powerful. Oh, I was looking through his inventory and I saw Xander Root and I was like, wait a second. Can I... <laughs> can I just get... Can I complete the fucking <laughs> first quest of getting Brock Flower and Xander Root from this dude? But no, he doesn't sell, he doesn't sell the Brock Flower. Uh. Doctor's bag? Doctor's bags are nice. I'll grab it. Miscellaneous. Do you want the gecko eggs? How about the gecko hides? You can have the gecko hides. Oh, and these cigarettes. <laughs> he did not take everything, that's why. Here, for instance, left the brand gun behind. Stealing a doc's house and selling it. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> and so, yes, he skipped on a pretty alright weapon already and then tried Well, to I didn't sell have his. the repair to fix it. It's like a little quest, mini quest type thing. Ah. Laser pistol focus optics. Oh, he has mods for the laser pistol. Interesting. I know he also sells. We'll find it. Varmint rifle. Yeah. If he doesn't use it. He sell. Yeah, he always sells a handful of mods for the starting weapons, specifically the laser pistol and the varmint rifle. Okay. He's like guaranteed to sell at least uh, a couple. Oh, draw rifle power. All the energy cells because I sold the laser pistol. <gasps> oh. You did things. Why do I have 44 magnum ammo? Oh well. Oh! This is 38 special ammo and not. 357 Magnum. Alright. 
Give me a shout if you need anything else. Take it easy. See if he has the thing. You looking to buy some supplies? Okay. Yes, he does. Pleasure doing business with you. Oh. Okay. I should also check his aid. All right. In my hubris, I added another mod. <laughs> uh, what's what is a weapon repair kit needed? All right. Oh, the textures on these are all fucked up right now. <laughs> oh, they're oh, they're so fucked up. I don't know what happened. I mean, I do know what happened. I need to I need to tweak my load order, but I can fix that later. <laughs> Bad texture is cursed. Yes, they are. Could be worse. Yeah. It's the it's the the tool revolvers mod. How much damage do these two? Uh, not a not a crazy amount. Oh, I don't have enough sprint. I love that the animations work perfectly fine, but the <laughs> the textures are all fucked up. Yep. Yeah. They do. Uh, where's the where's the lighter? Don't forget okay, to. Okay, I pretend I do know what you're talking and uh, a crazy crazy man. CQR or stock person. on a Mossberg. Oh, whatever. I don't remember what a CQR stock is. I know a Mossberg is a shotgun. Uh, it's CQR like the, the classic be, shotgun uh, you see in Mortal every... Combat. Ah. I think. Ah. Um, and yes, MPC, he forgot to buy a shotgun. That's right. Trying to find it. 
There's a... I don't know. There's supposed to be like a lighter on the ground here somewhere. I can't seem to find it. Because it was like the cigarettes that that dude was smoking when he was here. Yes. I can't seem to find it anymore. Hmm. Oh well. It's like... This was them. <laughs> like all the trash here was them. The fucking, the three dudes, Benny and his two goons. Yeah. And Benny was the yeah, only one the seen party, smoking. Yeah. yeah. It's like, what? Did, did they just have a fucking feast here? With all the, the empty I'm sarsaparilla sure. bottles and cans. They just sat down and had like two picnics. Especially precious cans. Yeah. <laughs> And then, I think it's in here, yeah. And then, distinctive cigarette butts. He smoked ten cigarettes. That's a full pack. <laughs> dude, dude sat down here, had a feast, and smoked a, a whole pack of cigarettes. <laughs> oh, well. I'm the cons. Ah, oh, the the cons give you the lighter. Okay. Oh yeah, the sky is blue. So what are you going to do with little old that uh, Billy, Billy, Benny? Uh, I'm probably going to shoot him with my dual revolvers that are fucked up because I messed up my load order. He started walking towards me. He threatened me. <laughs> the, the coyote fucking looked at me, growled, and then started approaching. That was self-defense. Oh, I, I wasn't talking about the Toyota. Oh. I was talking about Benny. Oh yes, Benny. I'm probably gonna shoot him with the with the revolvers. Um, I have another mod in here that changes it again. Yeah. while walking here. But what difficulty is my game on? All the dogs per se, but uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Difficulty normal. No, this should be on hard. For very hard? Not just hard. Oh, oh, I hit default. Does that fuck with audio too? Nope. Okay. Ooh, I should drop a quick save. Gotta, gotta remember them. Red scorpions attack. It still kind of like makes me lose my mind a little bit remembering that uh, Crystal Skull, Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull, came out before Fallout New Vegas. Yes, just shortly before. I think a year or so. Yeah. Or maybe it was the same year, but short enough to fucking include 
it, to include the joke in the game, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> but I do like the Swamp and Gambler. I, I'm sorry, the whole... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I like I the mean, Swamp the hat more. Movie was not very brilliant, but I, uh, I didn't loot one of these guys. No, no, not Indiana Jakes. It's uh, Colorado Jakes in uh, Fallout. I think. Mean. Yeah. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire. All right. 11 gecko steaks. And two healing powder. Uh, he saved her. Hey, that's not bad, yeah. see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right the know-how. Yeah, I saved Sometimes the Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work so on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get uh, is it's all the same space. idea. Yes. You just need to find the oh. right place to set up shop. Stream connection, no, don't or go red. Reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I'm heading back to the prospector. How could you... Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say... It's all right. It's all right, Sonny. You lost your dog today. And this guy, this guy just showed up. All right. Do do that now. What's our... Uh, 99 out of 190? Yeah, we can do it now. Or I think that's just barely outside of town. Let's let's uh yeah let's take this real quick. Hello, can you help me? Yeah, color boost, yes. My girl is trapped by geckos. Go up the path, past the. Br you will. All right. Let's let's rename our dude real quick and uh, do this mini quest. Edit name. Shaggy Rogers? Is that what we're just, we're just leaning into that? I mean, it, it's the appearance, isn't it? Doesn't yeah. It? Shoot him first? You want me to shoot him? I'm not yet up to date when it comes to visuals, so I have Shaggy Shagrino. <laughs> <laughs> You want me to... Oh, you might mean empathy. Yeah, yeah this guy. Hi. They want me to shoot him first, all right. I'll give him the cowboy death with the fucked up guns. Animation is so fucking the, cool. The funny uh, gun animation stuff. Where everybody is shooting from the hip. Yeah. Like Ooh, I ball. didn't know you carried a sledgehammer. Take the pistol. And now we go do the quest anyways. <laughs> Just grab oh the armament rifle. It's probably the best. Oh that's right, I got the night scope for it. So we hit Z. Yes. 
weird that they like go out and uh, do stuff. We're about to get ambushed from the side there. Also, oh, having the night scope on the varmint rifle, real nice, because you could just. Yeah. It seems to be a less additional. That's. There we go. I'm doing it right. Oh, my weapon condition is very low. That's why this isn't doing a lot of damage, yeah. Well, I have... Oh, I got I got tons of durability on this, alright. I always say that the weapon conditions... I, I like it, it's realistic-ish. I feel like it could have been done better. You know? The stuff deteriorates. Yeah. Oh, I remember the thing I needed to do. What, mod configuration, just mods. Crosshair. Weapon wheel, sprint. Is it bullet time? Enabled, highlight. Oh, hit marker. I remember this. Hit mode options. Rotation. Let's do that. Settings. It's a totally good FTS repackage, yes. Yeah. I need to I need to find this tweak. It's probably under N. Find it. What is uh, searching for? 
I am that. looking for, I think it's like no cutscene or like, you know how when I kill oh, things uh, in- Oh, that's in the basic options, I think. Oh, it is? Uh, oh yes, kill cam mode, cinematic. None. Correct. Uh, I, I've seen that when, when you, uh, mess, uh, when you change yeah. all the options. Oh, I just leveled up. I'm still in danger, so it won't uh, give, force me to do the thing. But it did fully heal me, although I didn't think I took damage. We're having issues. Level two, repair. Just gonna put that up. There we go. All right, let's take a perk. Confirmed bachelor, lady killer. <laughs> the, <laughs> I, I love that it's like, it is optimal to make your character bisexual. <laughs> Cause you, you'd get like 10% damage increase against all people. Yes. Ooh, rapidly and reload. Phoenix, uh, uh, In combat, you do 75% critical dam- plus 75% critical damage against animals and mutated animals. <laughs> that is amazing because all the strongest creatures in the game are animals. Yes. So, eh, good idea. Like, I think- I think the only, like, I guess there's super mutants, but like, I mean- Yeah, you have super mutants and- I'd say the vast majority of your enemies will be uh, normal humans, but... The really, the, the rough ones are all going to be animals. Yes. Alright, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And there's another one in the bush. Yeah, there's one here. It's on the bear trap. Another one here. So this is what the guy uh, down there that they asked me to kill uh, would be on about. Because you kill out all the uh, geckos guarding this place, and you come up here and you just find that everyone's dead. But also there's just a stash of goods up here. Like here. Well, there's no one to claim it anymore. Yep. And so normally he would come up behind you after you clear out all the geckos and get to about here and try and kill you to get the stash. Mm. Merc grunt outfit and an Easter egg. Taking his glasses. Johnny in the five aces. Yeah, Johnny five aces. <gasps> 10 millimeter pistol laser sight. <laughs> I've never had that in this box. Hello? On Z. Yeah! I've got a laser sight on my pistol now. I don't remember what that does. Decreases spread, adds laser sight effect. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, you can see that on the uh, reticle. Merc grunt outfit. Yeah, no. Although, if I remember correctly, this... Oh no, that's melee weapons and guns. This, that's also melee weapons and guns. Oh, weird. They give the same, uh... I guess it's mercenary. I thought they were supposed to give different uh, bonuses for some reason. That may have been one of the mods I had previously. Because it used to be that the... Yeah, it used to be that the Charmer outfit gave you a bonus to barter in speech. Instead of hmm. melee and guns. Did I get all the uh, Brock flowers up here? This is a great starting quest. It, it fucking loads you up on equipment. I think there's supposed to be... Yeah, there's more Brock flower up here. And then I think, like, right along the ridge line, there's supposed to be more uh, Xander root. Is it over here? Yeah, right here. Yeah, this like little starting quest that you can do right after the tutorial mission. Mm. It it loads you up on some good stuff. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. And then you can go a little bit further with it because there's a cave. I think it's over there that you can get a uh, cave fungus from. Mm hmm. And so cave fungus, I think the campfire's down here. Yeah. So there's yeah there's healing powder, but then there's also uh, gotta scroll down pretty far. Healing Poultice, which is an upgraded version. You get agave fruit and cave fungus, and the, there's caves fungus in that cave. And that <laughs> one uh, heals way more. But it does give you a minus ah. one to agility. Hmm. Yeah, it, it heals uh, 7 HP. Yeah. 7 HP a second for... yeah. It's really good. That's a decent amount. Yeah. And then healing effects stack, because they're all considered chems. Which is actually the true... Uh, I, I think you saw it in there when I was first making the character. There's a starting perk you can get called Logan's Loophole. And what that does is it makes it so that you can never get addicted to chems and all of their effects are doubled. So double length, double durability. But the thing is, so people see that and they think, oh, but why would I want to be, you know, psycho longer? I guess maybe if I'm doing like a melee build. The trick is that all aid items are considered chems, even like steak and healing foods and stuff. Okay. So if you do a high survival uh, thing uh, with Logan's Loophole and a couple other perks, you can take mm. a hand, like you can just sit there, eat a dinner, <laughs> and then heal faster than any source of damage in the game can give you. Like, literally become fucking Wolverine. Hey. It's power great. Of food. Power, the power of a good meal. Yeah. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in. About a week ago, this trader... 
We figured he was just in shock. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night. He's holed up at the... You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster... If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Whoa. Let's see. Don't. Not much. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. I know that thing. Oof, as much as anyone bitch. else around here. Seems like uh, over my... It acts my friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful... Waking times a bit. Ah. I feel that. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be... And it seems possibly the same for the chat. Yeah. <laughs> they were happy. It went a bit quiet out there. That All right, I think that lets me repair the radio now. Nope. Oh, okay. Feeling thirsty? Sure. The outside looks okay, but there'd be cat. Nope, I didn't install the mod. Oh, well. Because I had a mod that, uh, I forgot to install it. Because there's a mod that will let you just shoot a radio and they'll explode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but then again, since uh, basically all advanced machinery is uh, based on uh, tubes, on vacuum tubes, yeah, well, yeah, it, well, yeah so. it makes sense that it would you could do that. Yeah, it doesn't make sense for modern radios because they don't have anything that can explode if you shoot at them. Yeah. Yeah, these but are all like. Um, Hollywood uh, told us well, everything explicitly today. Actually, some more modern radios. Not necessarily modern radios, but like the, uh, you know, the Bluetooth speakers that everyone has now? Yes. Some of them could explode if you shoot at them because they have uh, lithium batteries. Oh, yeah. If you have a, a battery power. Yeah, if you hit the battery on that, it'll explode. It'll take a little bit, but it'll explode. Yeah. I <laughs> I find it funny that, yeah, like, there's yeah. lithium cells in everything, and they never explode. But then the ones in phones go pop all the time. <laughs> That's close enough. And it's like, hmm, hmm. I wonder if they're cheaping out on the battery quality a lot. Probably they do, yes. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. We got off to a bad start. What say we start? It's a two-player game, and the win- The goal is- It's why you- Here, take this- 
So. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. I'll... My care... Not even... I took... I'm gonna lay low... We just end up sharing the same. Start with Sunny Smile. So what's going on? Did... Oh. Huh. So what's going on? Oh, okay. That's weird. Also, these items are no longer marked as... Okay. Sometimes all of this... Sometimes everything in this building is marked as, uh... Like, owned by this guy. No, it's uh, not really his. Yes. I think it's one of the uh, the mods. In vanilla, it is in vanilla, everything in here is owned. It is okay. Yeah, it's not supposed That's... to be. It's like a weird glitch of like how it. Yeah. It's like a weird glitch of how people like designate what they own. Something about like him being the only dude in here and owning a bed in here causes like an avalanche. Because his, uh, yeah, yeah, because it is his how it gets it, it, it the stuff gets automatically appointed to him, basically. So. Yeah. Now Oh, on the, other the, the ammo is still set to him, though. That's interesting. Well, on the other end, you, uh, you have uh, looted his... Yeah. Uh, his watch deck, so... Well, it wasn't marked. <laughs> yeah, this is clearly supposed to be his, but it just, it just let me take from him. I'm like, mm, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right, game. I'll, I'll, I'll accept this. <laughs> Here's Doc Mitchell's house. You can always tell which one is Doc Mitchell's house because it's the only one that's lit up at night. And then... Oh, uh, Sunny Smiles' house is there. And Victor is over here. I think we can... I think we have to talk to Sunny. Ah, oh, yes. Howdy. Uh, running around the uh, Hi there. town. Sticking around goods. Talk with all important entities. Say no more. To come to the rescue. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we... However, be if you could... Con I know Easy Pete's got to stop. So we do stop Finally, possibly. there's a... A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan. I don't think give is... Easy Pete's pretty protective. I'll be waiting. Alright. Let's talk to Sunny, talk to these guys. Get some equipment from that. Hello, big bull man. And Victor! Howdy, partner. Yeah, got the option. <laughs> Trouble with rustlers, huh? Count me in, partner. Those varmints will be running home with their tails between their legs soon enough. Yeah, you only get that dialogue option if the first person you talk to after leaving uh, Doc Mitchell's house is Victor. So basically, he would feel um, scorned if you don't do this, so. I think it might be a glitch. Because uh, none of his dialogue changes if you talk to him later on. It's, for whatever reason, you only get that option if he's the first person you talk to. Uh, 
But yeah, uh, <laughs> Victor's nuts. He has a grenade launcher. That's why his hands look different. The big round one is a grenade launcher. <laughs> Welcome back. I had hope you wouldn't. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And go to all the all the peoples. Yes, the dynamite. Oh, the dynamite. Chet, it's time to wake up. I have gecko leather for you. <laughs> you looking to buy some supply? Can do. And this 9mm pistol. Ooh, weather 10 millimeter with a single mod on it is a thousand caps. Yeah, because the uh, mods are yeah, a bit pricey. Oh, here, take all this. Least. Yeah, here, take all this uh, blowfly meat and uh, venom. Say, don't use melee weapons. I'm not a fan of melee weapons either, yeah. Yeah, especially in... There, there is stuff for, like, overhauling how it works. Yeah, it, they tried very hard to uh, balance the ranged weapons with the melee weapons. Yeah. In... I have 20 I mean, Sunsets Asperlas. I mean, in a, a post-apocalyptic setting, it kind of makes sense because where will you get uh, replacement ammo? Where will you get replacement parts for guns? If yeah. The factories don't work anymore. Yeah, well, in this, they the explain hand, that, the like... So many. Yeah, most of the guns in Fallout New Vegas canonically are imports from the NCR because they got their shit together enough to start manufacturing yes. guns. Yes. Now, what I wanted to say, then again, there is so much uh, ammo lying around at the most idiotic places from time to time. It, it, yeah. There's no need for many weapons. That's, that's more like a limitation of the engine kind of thing. Because you can only set up so yeah. many, like, ammo container variants, if that makes sense. Like, pools. Yes. <laughs> also, like, a game balance thing. It's... it's... yeah. I never saw a reason to use melee weapons, to be honest. Yeah. I think... Even, uh... Yeah. Yeah, please. I think there is, like, that theoretical perfect like, post-apocalyptic game, which would be CRPG-style, but with, like, XCOM-type battles. Well, they did. Thanks. Kind of. A bit. With, uh, Fallout Tactics. In 2001? Now okay. just hold on. It, you made your point. it was the pre Bethesda, but... It, yeah. It was kind of... Uh, fall out with an XCOM style battle system. And to be honest, it was my favorite of the, of the series because it, the gameplay was not bad. Its right. story was more lackluster than uh, Fallout 3, but yeah, it was fun to play. Oh, Trudy is also there. And I guess this is Easy Pete's house? Yeah. Hello. 
<laughs> Howdy. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better. Yup. Nah. Can't can't do the full thing. All right. Don't got enough explosives to convince. Hey there. So you're planning on taking on say. Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk. That does sound like... Let me have a word with... While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better at... Be Alright. Hey. That's everyone. Well, except for Easy Pete. But I don't have any, like, skill books that would help me with that. But also I have a grenade launcher, and Victor has a grenade launcher. <laughs> it should be enough, I think. Yeah. Oh, I took a sip from my trusty Vault 13 canteen. Hang on. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Water breaks, yeah. Yes. All right. I'm going to drop a hard save. I'm going to mute my mic and switch over to the intermission scene. I think it will play the music automatically. I need to take a bio break. All right. I return. Also, the music stopped. It's not set to loop. I will change that 
later. All right. Shift P to switch the scenes and continue. I had to set up keybinds to switch the scenes in uh, my game so that <laughs> it doesn't fuck up when I tab out. <laughs> All right, I think. Oops, uh, I'm sorry. At it's 10 p.m. It yeah, at least it doesn't crash when I do that. Let's go into Doc Mitchell's house and sleep in one of his beds. I think... Oh, weird. It's weird that that bed is considered uh, owned. You'd think that one would be open, you know? Uh, the one we wake up on? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, like, I get it, but also, like, you know, that's his, like, medical bed. It, it makes sense if he'd let us, like, crash on it. Take a sip from the trusty Vault 13 canteen. I think the bed you're looking for is in the, uh, clothes room. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any uh, unknown beds in the town. I think there's like some at the campsite over here. If you're wondering what I'm doing, it's uh, getting a full night's rest is actually the plan with this. like down over here I cannot tell you if I know what you're doing um I am going to go and find a bed that I can sleep in I think this one over here is unowned okay. because if I sleep for eight hours or more How you get the uh, well rested uh, basic buffs your abilities? Yes, you get the well rested perk, which uh, I think it gives you a slight VATS AP regen, or I know for a fact that it gives you 10% more experience for anything that would give you experience. Ah! So if you can sleep right before you go and complete a quest, <laughs> you just you just go take a little snooze, and uh, now you get ten percent more XP. Which, in my case, that'll basically just get me. Ugh, that'll be just getting normal XP for it, because it cancels out the uh, guild perk. Ooh, white horse nettle. Alright. I see you're playing your drug empire already. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Gathering all kinds of wondrous plants. So what's going on? Did and substances. Time to look alive. At least six. I'll be set up new. Just. And then I think Victor is going to come out and help us. Let's hope so. I want to I wanna see Victor fight the Powder Kingers. <laughs> oh, I don't see him.
they cancel. they did not stand a single chance. I owe you a huge favor for this. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look. And these guys. Look. You always have good stuff to sell. Also, I think all of my legs are broken for me being bad with the grenade launcher. <laughs> Wonder. Oh, I yes. can repair the dual revolvers with the uh, the normal ones. That's good to know. Yes, uh, that's actually okay. good to know. Yeah. Let's grab all the all the armor off these guys. <laughs> one thing that I really like about uh, the the weapon like the equipment durability stuff mm -hmm. it is that it lets me take equipment from fallen enemies and combine it into more valuable equipment you know oh I never knew that the uh, the desperado hat Gives a uh, damage resist, well, damage threshold. It's a good hat. All right, let's heal. Eat some of them gecko steaks that I've been hoarding. Wasted a doctor's bag. Uh, your grenades did quite a bit on. on here. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I think that is the end of the quest. Coyote meat has worn off. Good to know. <laughs> so now we start making our way to Prim. Right over there. And then I think... Yeah, there's a few locations right over here. You can find some interesting things in. Jazz, let's see. Oh. oh, map. I think the, uh, Yangzi Memorial. There's an enemy up here. No, no, I'm not using that for that.
Ooh, I don't know how you feel about the, the laser sight. <laughs> Just the big beam. King Z Memorial. That. I think there's like that shack, yeah. a good name for like a place that you can find there's nothing mm -hmm. down here <laughs> I think there's like some ammo <laughs> yeah there's like an ammo box oh there's a couple of them oh and there's a star bottle cap that's what's unique about this place I also, uh, I think you've been seeing it a little bit. I also have a mod in here that adds quest markers. Not quest markers, but like, uh, I guess reminders. Like, it's a quest that reminds you, like, hey, Remember, there's all of these weird collectibles quests. Ah, <laughs> uh, collectibles. Yep. I hate them. Let's see, Devil's Skull at Yangtze Memorial. I think that's a cave. Right here. Look at the Yangtze Memorial at a different time. Oh, nope, Please. I don't know where the cave is. It's somewhere. So, can't you explain what you're doing now? I am heading to Prim. That's that town over there. Yes. Uh, because it's part of the main quest. I gotta find the dudes who shot me in the head. Ah, I see. Powder Gangers hostile to me? Yes, they are. Ooh, I don't want to use that. Jean's skydiving key. What does that go to? Ah. It's 
take the laser pistol and we can sell it later. And then I think there's more powder gangers over there. And there's a raided caravan up here. Yeah, it's about right there. This is the caravan that, uh... Not Joe Cobb. The dude we helped out at Good Springs is from. Ah, yes. Yes. I remember. Oh, big mountain radio signal found. Hmm. Not big mountain. Uh, what's it called? It's a radius here. I've played too much TF2. I'm good at <laughs> I'm too good at getting the headshots. Possibly, possibly, yes. These guys were shooting at me with shotguns. At this uh, at this range, so I mean, at this range for like real life, that'd be good. But this is a video game. Yes, I think. What? Going further this way will take me to Sloan. And there's just a bunch of like real, real fucked up. <laughs> like stuff. A bunch of big animals that don't like it when we're around. Yep. The warning signs for death claws because they moved in at some point. Yeah, this can be a bit the other guy. Did he blow himself up? A bit, yes. He did. Apparently, he's gone. It's like right here, right? Yeah. Past this point, there are uh, death claws and stuff, which I don't want to mess with. No. Yeah. Not at this level. Hold up. If you want to get to New Vegas, you're better off heading east from Prim and then looping north. It's a head. They moved into the quarry after the powder gangers came through and made off with most of our dynamite. We shut the quarry down while we waited for the NCR to get us some more blast. The NCR is a no-show. And my men and I have got nothing to do but... 
Uh, we'd see them occasionally, but they didn't seem too keen on getting too close to the quarry. Not sure if it was the noise or all the workers. I can't believe that an entire pack moved into the quarry. I thought that kind of bad luck only happened in New Vegas. There are a bunch of escape cons from down south. The NCR was using them to maintain the railways as part of their sentence. I don't know who screwed up, but the powder gangers are loose. It was one group that attacked us and took our entire supply of dynamite. Okay. This is Sloan, a camp for us quarry workers. The actual quarry, Quarry Junction, is up the road north of here. The whole thing is an NCR operation. We make cement for the NCR using the limestone we dig out with dynamite and drag lines. Dirty work, but the pay's good. Wish we got paid in caps, though. Not a lot of merchants like taking NCR paper money. It's a big machine which moves rocks around, piles at a time. It's pre-war tech, so you need to thump it once in a while to keep it running. Nope. The NCR has been trying to switch over to using paper money, just like in the pre-war days. Trouble is that the exchange rates ain't exactly fair. For example, a hundred bucks in NCR money is valued at roughly half that in caps around here. Seems like a rotten deal for us, but oh, work is see. work. Hmm? What was that? Oh, nothing. I... Ah. Oh, damn it. It all gets shipped by rail over towards Boulder City and Hoover Dam. The oh, NCR is probably building fortifications with it all. So, Wait, what's sure. what's not good? Uh, I, I stopped hearing things. It's, uh, I, no, it's, ah. I, if you I insist on going north, I, um, don't be expected. Ah, I, I see. Awake anymore? It's, all right. I. It, it's nothing against you. It's just me. I, yeah, no, that's so, that's all right, man. Where somebody could do I something about it. hour now, and when yeah, you think the NCR it, will send it in? <laughs> As we established beforehand, I'm got older, it gets harder to stay awake for a long time. So, uh, I'm sorry to leave you and uh, the rest of the chat there are still yeah. there somewhere. Anyway, yeah, it's alright, man. And are with all of you. Uh, Good evening, good night, wherever you are. Good night, man. Yes. I yeah. will have... Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Well, I guess it's just me now. Here? No. Snuffle's leg seems to have gotten better. Duh. Forgot there was a dude in there. And we leave. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll sleep at the bed. Yeah. It's like a little campsite down the road here. We'll sleep at that, and then we'll head to Prim. Primolino. Ah, I found you! You escaped me before, but now... Now you are dead. Ah, fucked up revolvers! Yeah, I'll have to, uh... 
figure out what to do with that. I think it's the texture overhaul that I'm using. I have to rearrange things. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. This is coming in from the back of Prim. Ooh. Ooh, can I just skip the NCR? If I can, I'm gonna do it. Don't mess with me, I don't mess with you. You could totally just completely skip Prim, huh? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. there it's good to see. don't suppose I'll tell it to you straight I... it started off innocently enough I was traveling as I you didn't show any reaction to it so I there's an old way those caps with the blue star on them the tail goes are the key to that nah I get No one knows. No problem. You roving trader outfit gives me ten barter.
So now I know that's there. I've got you. This is a weird route through it. I'm realizing that now. I might pass by the Brockflower Cave, actually. Right? It's not like right around here. Falling Railroad. Thanks for the, the EXP, I guess. Let's see. Is it a wrench? Store bottle can. Ooh, 30 minutes left. Huh. There's a bright follower up here. Didn't even know you could find this guy here. Is there, is there any more? Well, it doesn't appear so. What a weird little space. Trusty Vault 13 Canteen.
give up. Oh, let's just leave. Had enough. Had enough. Where was my last save at? No. All right. All right. This is this is a uh, a situation has unfolded. So. Ah, you're back. Hello. I'm in a jackal cave. Or the prospector cave. I don't remember what it's called.
found you. Take let's take a moment. Let's have a let's have a snack. <laughs> Dead. I have an faintest idea what you're talking about. Fault 13 jumpsuit. Just swept to that. Had enough. I'm hit. Ah, uh, the weird fucked up guns because the textures aren't loading properly. Oh, that was the the other one.
Let's see. Lockpick 45. Fine! Is it agility? No. Perception. Now, what's it at? Uh, Forty nine, damn. Shh, tell no one. It wasn't even worth it. <laughs> Perfect karma. Ooh, Fifteen minutes until my time slots up. So you can't just fully go around. You shouldn't have crossed the powder gangers. Now you're going. Good to know I'm hated enough by the powder gangers for them to start sending people after me. Ooh. Another desperado hat.
Oh, this is radiated. Whoops. Just, just, just. Tasty radiation. Yeah, a full five rads per drink. Jesus. Alright. It's time to engage in like the pettiest, most. Where are they? They're around here. Oh, I leveled up from that. All right. Put that up to 50. in the fucking game other than uh, educated comprehension I think it's over here on this perch where I can just fucking snipe all the dudes. for him to get near enough. The, the sniper maneuver. Just fucking perch up there on that, and you just shoot at him. And you get like half of the dudes right away.
It's over there. I'm going to enter over there. Okay. Ooh, I've only got six minutes until my thing is... My time slot's done. You carton of cigarettes? out so we can get to the, the precious inside. Scrap metal, electronics. Oh, my back, my backpack. Oh, that's cool. It adjusts the things. Five luck plus one and guns plus five. That's nice, but the DT is trash. It. It. <laughs> oh. We need to get into that case, but also. Man, someone's looted all our shit. We need to track them down. We need to read these notes. We'll do that next time. Yeah, next time, because I have to go. 10.58, my slot ends in two minutes, I think. Time for me to call it out.